Mara, how much can you rely on the scores? And I mean, do you see every routine that goes on? And I mean, could you just pick the whole team based on scores, or do you really need to like take a look and say, well, I know oh. that potentially this is a better international look? I don't really like to pick the team uh, strictly based on the scores. You know, scores are uh, surely very important you know, give you a good information, but also I can make a difference in between the very same score, what they scored, if I see the performances and why that person get this score and why the other one get the same score. So it's absolutely important that I see every single routine and that's why we're doing the training camps also, because I'm not watching that one single routine, what they present when they compete, because I try to catch as many routines in a training, in a warm-ups, days and days in a row. So it's not only like I want to base on that one routine, but they will throw on that trial. So it's important for the gy you to watch the gymnast. If I'm a competitor, I need you to watch me. I would need to watch you <laughs> as much as possible and the girls know that I'm watching and that's very good because it puts a little extra pressure, they want to perform well, so that's another good reason because they putting out even a better effort even in a training, knowing that I also reinforce training is just as important as competition. We don't want to see uh, just laid back attitude and as you see uh, on the girls, it's everything disciplined, they focus on, on the task, what they have to do, they try very best, you know, don't act like, oh, this is just training, you know, I fall, not a big deal, no, it's not, it's a big deal because you build up your habits and as many times when some skill doesn't come out perfect in your training, but somehow with major effort you save that skill and you don't fall, then your chances to do the same thing in a competition are much better. If you easily give up in a training, in a competition, sure you would like to don't fall, but you cannot fall back to your experience from the workouts and you're not able to do it. So you don't mind having a little bit of a, an intimidating uh presence during training when you walk? No, I, I honestly not, because it's not really about intimidation. It's more about the, the fact that this is serious business and, you know, setting a goal to be an Olympian as uh, very few people can do it. And uh, when you set a goal as high as it is, you have to know what you have to do. And, and it's my duty to show them the way what it takes to become an Olympian. I would not do a good thing for them if I would encourage some practices which I know would not lead to the results.